help, help us out. That's the cry from Jackson, Mississippi, where residents cannot count on clean running water from their taps after a winter storm caused frozen and burst pipes. My sister lives in Florida. She has to come and bring me water so I can flush my toilet. I just had surgery and I had to take my medication and it's on my right foot. I got to get out to try to drive to get water. I am so upset with Jackson. Compounding frustrations. This has happened before. In August, Jackson's water pump system failed entirely after it was overwhelmed by historic floods. That cut off running water entirely for the city's 150,000 residents and another 30,000 in the surrounding area. Many blame years of chronic underinvestment in vital infrastructure in the majority black city. Volunteer and resident Danielle Holmes. The citizens of Jackson, uh, which are taxpaying citizens of Mississippi, uh, need the state of Mississippi to step up its game and do what we need to be uh, need done here in the city of Jackson to assist with fixing the water uh, sewer infrastructure. On Sunday, Jackson's Democratic mayor, Shokwe Antar Lamumba, announced once again that all residents must boil water before using it for cooking or drinking. Homes in some parts of the city had no water at all, and officials have set up distribution points for bottled drinking water each day. The U.S. Justice Department in November reached an agreement with Mississippi and the city of Jackson to appoint an interim third-party manager to stabilize the city's drinking water supply. The mayor says fixing the water system will take billions of dollars. The U.S. Congress included $600 million to repair Jackson's water system in a spending bill signed into law last week.